This is the Sony HP 140A stereo system. It comes complete with a uh, mini record changer, AM FM stereo receiver. It also has a tape in and out. And it'll come with these uh, SS250 Sony speakers. Everything worked really nice on it after I've uh, gone through and cleaned all the controls. All the lights work, including the stereo indicator light. Good sound out of both the right and left sides. Good response on the tone controls. And it tunes nice. We're surrounded by miracles. Throwing to Juno mattress con so low it could only be lower if we worked out of the truck bed of Jerry's truck. Hey, that's not a bad idea. And when you're using the record player, you can actually turn the unit off. And when you turn the record player on, it'll come back on and only stay on as long as the record is playing. So at night, you can put a stack of records on and go to bed and it'll all shut off. The BSR uh, mini micro changer I completely disassembled it and uh, cleaned all the moving parts and uh, re-lubricated it. And it works uh, just like new now, very smooth. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll uh, include some of the uh, restoration that I did on it. I've got a couple of records stacked up. Uh, this uh, changer features four speeds and uh, three different record sizes. And it has a Q lift on it. As you can see, it uh, turned on even though it's off as far as the switch goes. Cleaned all the controls so there's no scratchy noises. Adjusted the set down point so it lands on the elbow in the correct spot. feature with the auto shut off. All right, getting started on this uh, BSR mini changer. The uh, platter was slightly stuck, but after a little bit of uh, working it back and forth, was able to get get it freed up without having to add any heat to it. And the uh, you can see all the old grease on the uh, cycling cam. That's what all the old grease looks like on these uh, players made in the uh, 60s and 70s. It just wasn't uh, made the last 50 years. And also the uh, little trip lever here is stuck. So get that 
freed up and we'll get all the old grease out of it. And these platter bearings will go right in a alcohol bath. Oh, these sometimes are hard to get off. But uh, we'll get these all cleaned and repacked with new grease. And now for the uh, idler pulley. I've already got the uh, clip off it. Got to make sure we keep track of those little washers. Usually one on the back side too. But this uh, post uh, will get cleaned off and uh, I like to resurface the uh, edge of these uh, rubber idler pulleys to give them a little more traction. Just use some uh, fine grit sandpaper on that. And now you can see the uh, fresh rubber exposed after uh, cleaning it uh, or sanding it down just a little bit. And here's the back side of the uh, C124 Mini Changer by BSR. See all that old sticky grease. That's why these don't work when they get old. Another important area is the star wheel, which controls the tone arm. Those will have to be cleaned so they move freely. And then this is the uh, pivot and bushing for the uh, tone arm. Another uh, very important piece that you get loosened up is this uh, pivot. It rides in this little channel here and they always get uh, uh, frozen with the grease and you need to use a heat gun to loosen those up. And now it's all uh, clean and free and uh, a little oil in there as well. And now all clean and back together. This will work nice and smoothly now. It's always kind of a messy job, but you get that uh, the bearings all uh, cleaned and uh, repacked. And that'll ensure a nice even platter movement. And now it's time to put the cycling cam back on. The uh, channel's all been cleaned and a little light uh, lithium grease in there. And uh, let's go right there. Get that set and adjusted.